Hey guys, Amanda Ray here. Thanks for watching the channel. Today is going to be a little bit different. I am putting together uh, my fiance's pistons. We're putting together the piston rings into the pistons, getting his Evo 8 ready to run since we've got the Camaro running. Uh, we don't really have to worry about the V, but we have to build his two Evo 8s. Yep. So, and he's here to monitor to teach me how to do this because um, I really want to help him build his motor since he helped me build mine. So it's teach and learn situation. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so first things first is um, we've got all the pistons here. They're all labeled, ready to go. Um, I guess we'll start with the first rail, which is this one. We don't have the piston ring expander tool, which had I known that, I probably would have We got the first rail in, and now we get the little wavy doohickey, which is the expander. All right, so we've got the expander in. Now we have to do one more rail before we go on to the middle ring. So we have a nice little sandwich right there. Beautiful. Next is the middle. Numbers. Numbers. If you can see the numbers. I have to go up. Like you said. So we shall do that. So now we've got the middle ring on. And we'll deal with the gaps. We'll line that up once it's in. All right, and then last but not least is the top ring, which also has numbers on it, which you probably can't see, but those also have to go up. So. All right, and we've got one piston completely done. And um, on his pistons, if you can see down here, he had to drill the bearing for the dowel pin. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, it can get right in that light. It's perfect. You can see the pin right there. It keeps the bearing from spinning. All right, now number two. One done. On to number two. So we've got the expander in. I heard it hit to the floor. You got it? Perfect. Next is the other rail that fell to the floor. We had to find it. But we found it. All is good. This is definitely my first time working with a piston, other than my necklace, of course. Um, but I wanted to learn. It's fun. 
he's still in the process of redoing his Evo 8 wiring harness, which I don't know if anybody's ever done a wiring harness before, but that is not fun. Next is the difficult one, since it's a little bit thicker. What? You laughing at me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. Numbers up. Yep, we're good. It just started pouring, so he's gonna go check the garage real quick. Um, but we got the second one done. So we got um, the pistons all done, the rings are in, ready to go. Um, Next step is going to be getting these in. We'll have to get the crank in first, um, but then we'll get these in. Uh, and then we'll do the gap, and I'll show you how to do the gapping, um, which I'm excited to learn the process. We've got like a little uh, thing right here to help me with the gapping. So I'm excited to learn this. Stay. Um, close up of the pistons, because they are gorgeous. Right here. All four of them. They are labeled, so we can't really mess them up. Thank you guys for watching again, and stay tuned for the next part of the Evo build. Um, and, of course, for the rest of my videos coming up soon. Thank you, guys.